Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video and today we're talking about the Steam Deck and how somebody actually benchmarked the Steam Deck a few days ago. This is an article from Tom's Hardware and we're seeing that the Steam Deck can get 30 to 60 frames per second. Here are the benchmarks. Steam benchmarks, they have a game, they have Shadow of the Tomb Raider at high or at the highest high and custom. So you can get between 30 and 60. You can do Doom at medium, custom, 60 frames per second at medium, 46% frames per second at custom. They did Cyberpunk 2077. It's disappointing. It's at high, 20 to 30 frames per second. And then Dota 2 at 47 to 80. Steam Deck runs at 1280. 1280 by 800 if I believe yeah 1280 by 800 so this is all these benchmarks is what this article says are in handheld mode so it looks pretty promising but if you want to play cyberpunk 2077 you probably need to dial the settings back and you could probably hit 30 frames per second on medium or maybe you need dial it back to low you could hit 40 frames per second but I thought that was uh, some newsworthy stuff for the Steam Deck and then this isn't quite Steam Deck news, but this is just that DLSS is coming to Steam's Proton. And I don't know if they're going to fork this onto the Steam Deck. Some people are speculating it's going to get forked onto the Steam Deck or put onto the Steam Deck, but it's going to be put into Valve's Proton. One speculation I have is that there might be other Steam Decks being built by other companies like Alienware or Dell or HP, and they want to use NVIDIA GPUs and they want to take advantage of DLSS because Valve wants the Steam Deck to be like an ecosystem. And it wants it to be like gaming laptops where you have like a hundred different brands and they can just use Valve's Steam, uh, Steam OS and put it on there. So that's kind of where I'm looking at, where that uh, NVIDIA wants to basically get into the handheld space. And, you know, they're already there with the Switch, but they want to be there also in the PC gaming side of things. And it makes sense that they would work with Valve to get DLSS working on NVIDIA GPUs because there might be some other versions of Steam Decks that do come out and they do have, you know, Intel and NVIDIA, you know, an Intel processor and NVIDIA um, mobile GPU, or, you know, they could have a product come out where it's an AMD CPU and an, an NVIDIA GPU. So, you know, there could be those types of products, uh, gaming laptops, some gaming laptops have a Ryzen 5000 series chip or a 4000 series chip, and then they, you know, they do utilize a NVIDIA card. So, yeah, thought this was interesting. Um, bit of news on DLSS coming to Steam's Proton. And yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.